Hello, you. Hello, YouTube. It is I, the Amazing Tuner. So this is with another tutorial video. With another tutorial video today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a static IP in Windows 9 9x and Windows 95 in particular. So the first thing that I like to do, if I'm running Windows 98, I like to run IP config. And since we're not running 998, we're going to be running, we're running uh, Windows 95. You win IP from CFG. Win IP CFG. So you see win IP CFG. Which tells us our IP if we're running a static, a static IP, of course. But since we're not getting a whole lot of information here, let's try here. Now we're getting the information we need to get. So that is our IP. Now, we're going to go here to program files, right click properties. We're going to go and you can go into and we're going, going to boot this up, set up specific IP. We're going to set up specify the IP. One nine two dot one six eight one dot one hundred and that one right there and that single one is uh what our default gateway uses which on this router down this router has has a one in there by default you could probably change that but i leave it the way it is two five five two five five two five five zero now we're going to go to default gateway one in my case is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one so my whole reason for doing this and I just clicked add install gateway save that's um and we can add gateways to this if we need so be and there you go now now it's going to require me to restart. And we just keep the files that we have on here because we're running the most up-to-date files. Now that we're booted into Windows. Do that. Let's uh, boot. Well, now that we booted in, let's 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 load load up load, load up a website. I don't know, maybe Kuji's website, the famous uh, Windows ninety five. Um, uh, D light person, which I know. Let's see if it'll see. It didn't work. Oh no! So let's 
So let's go back and troubleshoot this. Go back and troubleshoot. So let's troubleshoot this and see if we're setting it up right now. We can also load that thing in, uh, I think, win IP config. Win IP CFG. We can actually load that same command, I think, in the command prompt. So let's look at it again. More info. So let's look at the info. Kyrgios, host name, yeah, that's mine. And file, so we actually have quite a few settings. So we're not, we didn't have DHCP set up. So let's go here. Let's make sure we have DHCP set up and set up our IP 192.168. And your IP will depend upon what you're using. I like to do. So there you go, we have um, that. We need to make sure the DHCP, make sure DNS configuration is set up. Is it set up? No. So that's our DNS server. One, nine, two dot one six eight dot one dot one so this will be very useful for making sure that we have our dns server one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one Windows is um, telling me on my system that I have that. My main computer need to update a piece of software. So our DNS server is set up. I'm going to specify the host name. Okay. Air E O S. So there we go. Let's uh, look at the CR settings, make sure they're right. Winds, we can enable the winds, uh, whatever that is. Our gateway is set up. And there we go. Let's look at the advanced. And files. So now we have all, 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 all of our information on DNS server. Let's see if it works this time.
Just keep the files. So now let's try it again. Let's uh, load um, Retrozilla, which is a web browser which allows you to run. Hey, it's working now, which allows you to. So our static IP is working. Good. So now I don't have to um, worry about this not having proper networking. It's going to use a static IP. There are good reasons. So now it's all working. Yeah, Retrozilla is a web browser that somewhat a, a version of a Firefox that'll work under Windows 98 with a modern web. So our settings are right here. Our uh, gateway DNS. See, everything is working. It's been the amazing kidding us with this, signing off. Have a good one. And now I feel like Rich Review Tech USA.